Welcome to another episode of What's in the Bag being brought to you by Fried Chopsticks. As always, your boy called you the producer here to do another awesome unboxing. Now, before we get into it, you know, I always like to give my quick shout out to Line Leader Clothing. They're responsible for all the attire you see us in. And also, I like to always make sure I give my love out to you guys. Make sure you smash that like button, comment down below, and share with your family and friends what you have found out here today on What's in the Bag. Now, today we have a great episode. We have a awesome find we have picked up the playstation dual sense edge controller now this controller is supposed to be an edge in gameplay by creating your own custom controls to fit your game style there's awesome features such as ultra customizable controls mapping back buttons dual sense wireless controller features built in and replaceable stick modules as well we're going to do our unboxing see what kind of items are in there and see how it looks on the controller this time on what's in the bag All right, first off, we want to give a quick shout out to Tack Attack for providing us with the video footage for today and the unboxing of the actual item. Uh, he did a great job doing the video and we just like to give him a quick shout out. Now, as we get started, we can see here that he's pulling the box out. Now, as he pulls the casing out of the actual outer box, you can see here that they also have the box nicely packaged. Now, the box does have a PlayStation logo on the front of it there to show that it is a PlayStation official item. And underneath this section here, they have the extra stuff that comes with the box. There is the actual manual that comes with every control. It's pretty much standard. Um, this is the actual item that comes in the packaging. That case it does have the PlayStation logo embossed in there. And there's also there's the triangle, circle, X, and square, which is the PlayStation logo as well. They also have the PlayStation logo imprinted on the zipper. Um, as you unzip it here, you can see that the actual casing has slots for the wires itself and the actual replacement buttons and pieces that comes with the controller itself. Now, the packaging does come very uh, unique. They do cover up the controller very nicely here. You'll see on the touchpad there is the engraved triangle, X, circle, and square on the actual touchpad. Um, the material that's used for the actual controller looks different from the original controller itself uh, there's those extra trigger buttons on the bottom there along with the normal jack for the headphones on the back those two holes that you're looking at and those sliders that you're looking at are also for uh, enhanced gaming you can add some extra triggers onto those holes um, they have the R1, R2, L1, L2 buttons at the bottom of the L2 and R2 buttons you do see the PlayStation have the um, PlayStation symbols again on there as well now the sliders are for your comfort um, there's also that release button on the front and we'll show you a little bit later what happens with that um, the controller itself has a great feel um, it does um, have uh, a lot more uh, enhanced uh, features as far as the clicking as far as the button pressing um, it is a lot sturdier it's a lot firmer um, and it feels different from the actual original controller itself the triggers definitely have the um, haptic controls built in as well just like the original controller itself um, now let's get into what the actual features of the controller can do so on the back here you see there is that switch you can flip that switch over and when you switch it over it flips open the panel so that you can remove the actual joysticks so that removes here and you can actually flip this lever up on the side and once you do that it releases the joystick so that you can replace that joystick itself um, if you uh, have Joy-Con drift as we all know there's a very huge possibility you can just replace a joystick there's actually even holding spots inside the casing for you to be able to place your replacement parts in as well and it as easy as it slides out it slides right back in to the controller itself for easy replacement and you flip that lever down same thing happens on the other joystick it's sim it's very identical you can definitely do the same thing on both sides um so it's pretty much the same feature there um and it's very easy to snap back that case in onto the controller and flip that lever right back into its lock position these are some additional triggers that you can uh, utilize for the controller itself 
um, so that you can have your style of gaming itself. There are also this, the placements for those pieces so that you can easily store them. Um, it's not that difficult to be able to place those into those spots. They fit right in. Um, on the back of the controller here, we are also looking at the wire that comes with the controller. So the controller's wire itself it's a normal PlayStation 5 controller. It has the PlayStation logo built, built into that actual cable as well. Um, and you would see here the other side is a normal USB just like every other controller. And you have that actual holding spot in the case for it as well. Um, this is an actual uh, protection for when you're utilizing the charging system from inside the case. You can actually charge the controller while it's in the case. And that kind of protects your uh, wire from being broken or damaged while charging uh, you flip it open you slide the controller wire into that and you'll be able to charge it with ease without you having to worry about damaging your wires as well Uh, next up there are some actual joysticks here that you can replace um, the actual height of the joysticks so you have different heights as you can see there are different sizes there um, and you can replace them easily those are the back triggers here for those two holes on the back of the controller that we were looking at in earlier um, you can slide those in there um, and that's pretty much it for the edge controller it does have a lot of features um, that it take a lot of getting used to and the case in here is perfect for traveling and uh, storing as well when you feel like you don't want to use it and that pretty much wraps it up for our unboxing of the Sony DualSense Edge controller thank you for tuning in to another great episode of what's in the bag definitely if you like what you saw here today comment down below let us know what you think about the episode what you saw here today or are you gonna pick yourself up one of these DualSense Edge controllers yes no maybe let us know down in the comments and if you do have a DualSense Edge controller let us know how you are utilizing and what button configuration you have put together down in the comments as always your boy called you the producer can't wait to see what we got next door and what's in the bag called you the producer out i gotta have it some things i, I gotta, gotta grab it. it jump around from store to store getting gems i gotta grab it figurines i tell amiibos anime right back to movies i'm a geek i'm a nerd call me blurred but i know i had to i had to grab it off the shelf real quick they ask me what's in the bag i tell them tune in next show or oh, you can stream an episode let's go i'm on the move i gotta